Homecoming stars Tom Holland and others. Peter Parker is struggling to balance his superhero career with his high school career when he discovers a new villain called the Vulture. John Watts directed this movie. I'm curious about his previous movie, Cop Car. I loved Spider-Man. He's one of my favorites. The 90s cartoon was my introduction to him. I finally finished it last week. The finale was crazy. The show was canceled, so it ended on a cliffhanger. Everyone was excited when Spider-Man rejoined the MCU. However, I felt rebooting him again so soon was silly. However, I was still really excited for this movie. I really enjoyed Spider-Man Homecoming. Tom Holland was good. He nailed both characters. Honestly, after seeing Civil War, he was already my favorite Spider-Man. He's a rookie. He's happily patrolling Queens, but he wants to be an Avenger. He wants more out of life. Ned is Peter's best friend. He's likable. He's a nerd. He loves Star Wars and comics. He's a comic relief. He cracks jokes. Yeah, it made me chuckle several times. I understand why some feel he's annoying. Michelle is interesting. She's a weirdo. She's a loner. She's rude, but I think she likes Peter. People speculated she's Mary Jane, but I assure you that's not the case. Yeah, she's a minor character. I'm sure she'll have a bigger role in the sequel. Flash Thompson is really different from his other portrayals. He isn't a jock. He's a rich snobby kid. He's a nerd like Peter. I honestly think him being a nerd is silly. He cracks a few jokes. I smiled three times. Iron Man is my favorite Avenger. I was happy to see him. I understand why some hated his third movie. I loved it. Some people were concerned he will upstage Spider-Man because of market and emphasize him. He's a minor character. His screen time is only 8 minutes. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. was good. He had fun. Michael Keaton was good. I'm sure lots of reviewers made the flying characters joke. Vulture is a good villain. He's not bland. He's sympathetic but terrifying. His motivations are really clear. He's not trying to take over the world. He's supporting his family or he's trying to live the good life. I love the suit. My friend Harry Thomas hates it. And the next time you screech, ah! it'll explode into millions of eardrums. Spider-Man Homecoming is really different from the other Spider-Man movies. It's a high school movie. The writers were clearly inspired by John Hughes. The Breakfast Club was good. I've seen it only twice. There was plenty of downtime, so some young kids may feel bored. The romance was okay. It's not boring. The chemistry was okay, I suppose. Liz was bland as expected. This movie is lighthearted as it should be. It has plenty of humor. I chuckled a lot. Spider-Man has some quips. He doesn't overdo it. Ned asks Peter some nerdy questions. Have you wondered what will happen if there aren't any tall buildings to swim on? Spider-Man has to run. The action was good. I guess it's mostly practical. I'm sure some people felt bored because the stakes are low. I honestly feel low stakes are appropriate because Spider-Man is a rookie. He's a small timer. Without spoiling anything, there were a few scenes where he could have died. Spider-Man's suit looks good. I honestly thought it was lame at first. And yeah, I've seen the 60s cartoon. I don't like it being high tech. Spider-Man shouldn't be similar to Iron Man. His suit has AI. He calls it Karen. Yeah, there were a few funny moments. Spider-Man should eventually swap suits. This movie was definitely over-marketed, but not as badly as the last two movies. Yeah, the second trailer spoiled the movie. I was in denial for a little while. I guess the third trailer spoiled the movie a little bit. I've seen it only once. I really should reduce watching trailers and reading movie news. I guess Venom will be over-marketed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda excited for it. What? No! Spider-Man Homecoming gets a B. It's a charming and fun superhero movie. It surpassed Spider-Man 2 as my favorite. Tom Holland and Michael Keaton were great. Have you seen Spider-Man Homecoming? Did you like it or hate it? Which is your favorite? Thanks as always for watching guys. Shares are appreciated. My Twitter link is down below. I recently test streamed again. I finally got the audio fix. If you're new to my channel, please consider subbing me. I review movies and trailers. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then.